Jeffy, get in here. It's time to eat pizza. We got Daddy feeding me pizza instead of green beans before GTA 6? That's skibbity toilet. That's what toilet? Skibbity. What the hell is skibbity? Marvin, it's that song from Splash Mountain. Skibbity doo da, skibbity a. No, mommy. I'm being Sigma. My aura level is maxed. What are you talking about, Jeff? You're not making sense. Daddy, you're totally being Ohio baby Gronk Riz. What? I'm edging, Daddy. I'm trying to munt. Let me goon. Jeffy, I don't know what you're talking about. You're talking crazy. Where's my Sprite cranberry for my pizza? My Lord and Savior, LeBron James, needs me to goon for my Goonie tunes. Are you having a stroke, Jeffy? You're not making sense. F in the chat, Father. Rest in pepperoni. I think we should call a doctor. I think Jeffy's having a stroke. Yeah, Marvin, go call the doctor. Okay, let me get my phone. Jeffy, can you explain to me what's wrong? No problem. Here's the information about the Mercedes CLR GTR. The Mercedes CLR GTR is a remarkable racing car celebrated for its outstanding performance and sleek design. Powered by a potent 6.2 it's limited production right Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Oh, you're talking about better. the Mercedes CLR GTR. No problem. Here's the information about the Mercedes no, CLR. No, that, that's okay. I've already heard it. So what's going on? I'm going to get this pizza out of the way. Yeah, get out of here. I lost my appetite. But the pizza. My son is talking crazy. Well, what's he saying? Jeffy, say the stuff you've been saying. Sometimes you got to pop out and show me. Don't say that, Jeffy. A minor. Oh, I see what's going on. He's skibbity. What? Skibbity toilet. But what is this toilet thing? He has W Riz, Marvin. W Riz. Livy Dunn Riz. Who is that? Look, Marvin, he probably just fell asleep while he was watching TikTok and now he's got brain rot. Brain rot? Yeah, a lot of kids these days have it. That's why they're trying to ban TikTok. Hold on, I have a test to see if he actually does have brain rot. All right, Jeffy, would you rather have $100,000 in your bank account right away or Renegade Raider? Renegade Wade. Yeah, he's definitely got brain rot. Okay, well, how do you fix it? Well, you have to defeat the skibbity toilet god. Who's the skibbity toilet god? He's a head that lives in a toilet, but you have to have very powerful aura to defeat him. Do I, do I have powerful aura? No, no, you don't, Marvin. Oh, hold on. John Pork is calling. Who's John Pork? Believe me, you do not want to answer that. What is going on? Marvin, you just have to have really powerful aura so you can defeat the skibbity toilet god. And how do I get that? Well, hold on. I think Jeffy might have a powerful aura. I have to test it. All right, Jeffy, let's mew. All right, Jeffy, that's enough mewing. I like your cut, G. Ow. What were you guys just doing? We were mewing, Marvin. Jeffy Sigma. What is mewing? You don't know what mewing is, Marvin? Like a cat, like mew, mew. Oh, cringe. Chat, is this real? F's in the chat. Well, what am I doing wrong? Everything, Marvin. You're beta. Well, how do I not be beta? How do I get Jeffy to stop talking like that? I told you, you have to beat the skibbity toilet god. So I go to my toilet and he's there. Yes, but you're not ready to see him yet. You have to be based. You know, Poggers, Fortnite Battle Pass. If I buy the pass, will I be based? No, god damn it, Marvin. Uganda Knuckles. Uganda Knuckles, Marvin. Do you know the way? No. Well, I will teach you the way, Marvin. I have three tests, okay? First, you have to learn how to mew. Okay, teach me how to mew. Okay, you have to pucker your lips and squint. Okay. Marvin, you look like you're pooping. Well, I don't know how to mew! Okay, clearly. Okay, we'll come back to that. For now, follow me to the kitchen. The kitchen? Why am I wearing a Toon Squad jersey? Because, Marvin, for this test, you have to drink this entire bottle of Sprite Cranberry without spilling it. That's not hard. Oh, yes, it is, because you have to do it without getting caught by LeBron James. LeBron James isn't here. Well, every time somebody opens up a bottle of Sprite Cranberry, LeBron James just magically appears. No, he doesn't. All right, don't say I didn't warn you. Hey there! It's me, LeBron James. What, LeBron James? Yeah, I told you, Marvin. Whoa, is that a Sprite Cranberry? That's my favorite drink, G. Willikers. I know, buddy. Oh, <laughs> Space Jam 2 is the ultimate Space Jam. Bugs Bunny told me himself I'm his favorite. Yeah, I, I bet he did. Mm -hmm. I get to play basketball with my son like he's four years old. <laughs> Michael Jordan could never. Okay, Marvin. Drink the Sprite, quick, 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 go, go, go. Hey, hey, get back with my Sprite. safe in here. Let me just drink this bright cranberry. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy, Sprite cranberry. Oh no, I'm almost done. I just gotta hurry up. I gotta hurry up. Sprite cranberry? <laughs> Oh, uh, Marvin, you get caught by LeBron James. My Sprite Cranberry. 
What's he gonna do? Well, he can either kill you or you can call him your Pookie Bear. Say it. What? Yeah, call me Pookie Bear. Who is your Pookie Bear? LeBron James, you're my Pookie Bear. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sprite Cranberry. And you have to listen to one of his made up stories. What? LeBron James is a pathological liar. He said he knew Kobe was gonna drop 80. Yeah, I saw it in a dream once. Oh, uh, LeBron James, didn't you see the dinosaurs go extinct? Yeah, I played 1v1 with a T Rex. Then I looked up in the sky, saw a meteor, and I said, man. That looks like that's gonna make us extinct. See? And it did. Oh? Well, come on, Marvin. Let's go do your next test. Bye, LeBron James. I'm about to play basketball. <sighs> What's wrong, Marvin? I almost got killed by LeBron James. Marvin, say it right. LeBron James. Well, how did that happen? Because he didn't drink all of his Sprite Cranberry fast enough, that's how. Wait a second, I thought that was only seasonal. It is, we just taped a label onto a bottle of normal Sprite. LeBron James didn't even notice. It was a lot of Sprite, I can't drink it that fast. L, L's in the chat for Marvin. Listen, I already failed the stupid test, that means I can't fight the toilet. No, Marvin, you don't have to pass all the tests, you just have to pass three tests. So there's a lot of tests? Yeah, there's a whole bunch. Well then give me an easy one to do. Okay, hit the gritty. Hit the what? Whittly, hit the gritty. What's the gritty? Just gritty! Isn't a sandwich from McDonald's? No, Marvin, that's a McGriddle. God damn it, you're on unk status. You're giving ick. How do I not give ick? Okay, uh, let me see your gyat. My what? Your gyat. Stick your gyat out for the Rizzler. Bend over. Oh, you do not have a gyat. Libby Dunn would not like this at all. You're saying people's names. I don't know these people. Okay, Marvin, try being the biggest bird. The what? Be the biggest bird. How can I be a bird? I'm a human. Well, like, I'm the biggest bird. If you're the biggest bird, I can't be the biggest bird. Marvin, just be the biggest bird, like the goat. You want me to be a goat or a bird? Oh, Jesus Christ, Marvin, you're so chuggy. Wait, wait, don't you know Shrek? Yes, I know Shrek. Okay, that's good. Shrek is love, Shrek is life. All you have to do is go kiss Shrek on the mouth and you'll pass a test. Maybe even two, because Shrek is so love and life. I'm not kissing Shrek on the mouth, he's disgusting. You want to beat the skibbity toilet god, don't you? Yes. Then go kiss Shrek. <sighs> okay. I didn't know that much shit can come out of my ass. Hey, Shrek. Ugh, not right now, Donkey. I just found out that I have C. diff. Get a hold of this. Ugh. Oh, God, it smells so bad. Oh, isn't that great, Donkey? No. I'll oh, just bask in the ambiance of my shit. <sighs> oh, God, I'm getting lightheaded. Ah, me too, isn't it great? No. Oh, oh, Donkey, it's like beavers built a dam out of sticks and twigs to stop the shit from coming out of my ass. But it's not working, Donkey, because the Hurricane Katrina of shit is coming and it's gonna break the levees, Donkey! Break the levees! <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, oh Donkey. Donkey, okay. it's like my asshole is a gumball machine just producing little shit balls like. Okay, that's enough. Listen, Jack, I need your help. What do you need, Donkey? Well, I need a. <laughs> oh, God, it sounds so bad. Oh, Donkey, you want to know what's really bad? What? Oh, when you're in the middle of taking a shit, and then, uh, and then your asshole starts itching in the middle of it, and you itch it anyway. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, you gotta get all the way to the knuckles. Oh, all right, well, now I'm just playing with myself. But, uh, oh, okay, Shrek, stop it. Uh, oh, Donkey, get away from that. Oh, my Oh, yeah, Donkey, that's see the fingers, and, and there's still a little bit of shit left underneath. Oh, God, I want to hear it! Uh, underneath my nails from last week's shit. No, don't get, get away from my face. I need your help. Oh, what do you need, Donkey? Okay, listen. <laughs> I need to give you a kiss. Oh, I thought you'd never ask, Donkey. Come here, you! Not your ass! Well, why not? Because I need to kiss your mouth. Oh, you think I'm sexy? Rub my titty! No, I need to kiss you so I can get Riz. Well, Donkey, I, I don't know anything about Riz. All I know is cheers. Cake okay, ice cream, can you hand me something? Oh, give me, give me. No, well, listen, listen, just give me a quick kiss so I can get Riz. <sighs> okay, come here, Donkey. <laughs> okay, give it. Let go of me, let go of me. Um, Donkey, I, I don't have any toilet paper because I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna want it crust. Crust, 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 crust. Crusty crab ass! <laughs> Did you do it? Yes, I kissed Shrek. It was disgusting. Oh, I can feel your Sigma aura. <laughs> Bro thinks he's Cardi. Okay, so can I take on the toilet man? Family Guy Funny Moments compilation with Subway Surfers gameplay at the bottom. What? That means yes. Okay, good. So I can go do the toilet guy. Yeah, but take Jiffy with you. You're going to need his ratio. His ratio? Yeah, he has a high ratio. Yeah, and if they get really serious, we'll just hit the T-pose. Okay, let's go to the toilet. So I can just go to any toilet? Yeah. All right, because Shrek is shedding his brains out over there. Yeah, no, he'll, he'll skibbity toilet right out of there. I'm going to a different toilet. 
All right, Jeffy, there's the toilet. Now, how do we summon the skibbity toilet god? All right, Daddy, I'm going to sing one, two, buckle my shoe, and then you sing the Whopper commercial, okay? O okay. All right. Ready? Here we go. One, two, buckle my shoe. Whopper, 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 whopper. Skibbity bop bop, yeah. Ah, it's literally just a head in the toilet. What do I do? Then you got to hit him with the sussy imposter. What? The sussy baka. What? Mew, daddy, mew. Huh, that's weak. Come on, daddy, mew. Mew like you've never mewed before. Okay, I'm, I'm going to mew. I'm going to mew. I'm going to... Yay, Daddy, you did it! You stopped this skimmity toilet! I did it! I did it! Yeah, Daddy mewed! You did what? I mewed and I took down the skibbity the the, the, ski, the skiing toilet man. Oh, W Marvin! Yeah, so I'm not from Ohio and I have no baby gronks. Oh, Rose, you should totally hop to a spit on that thing to celebrate. I think you should do that because I deserve it. Wait, you said if I took down man of the toilet that you wouldn't talk like this anymore. It was cap. Hard cap. Oh, okay. Well, don't let this distract you from the fact that Clay Thompson went 0 for 10 in an elimination game. He did? Yeah, it's crazy. Well, can you guys please just leave? I don't want to hear any of this stupid dumb lingo anymore. No, no problem. problem. Here's the information about the Mercedes CLR GTR. The Mercedes CLR GTR is a remarkable racing car celebrated for its outstanding performance. Okay, guys, you ready to play Greedy Granny? Yeah, dude, it's been forever since the last time we had a game night. And tonight's the perfect night for it because it's raining outside. How do you even play this game? Well, you spin this spinner here, and whatever number it lands on, that's how many times you press this button, and you try to steal a treat from Granny. But if she wakes up and spits her teeth out, you lose. She looks dead. Oh, trust me, she's not dead. She's one Greedy Granny. All right, Cody, you go first. Okay. Um, looks like I have to press it once. <sighs> okay. Your turn, Junior. Okay. How many times do I gotta press it? Uh, one time. Can you press it for me? Uh, okay. Okay, get your treat. Can you grab it for me? Why do I have to do everything? Because you're right there. Okay, your turn, Joseph. All right, my time to shine. Ugh. Ooh, two times? Uh, can you press it for me, dude? Uh, okay. Kind of a delayed reaction, Jeffy. Well, I'm missing a chromosome, so it takes my brain a second to process the signal. Marvin, did you just hear Jeffy scream? I think so. Well, what if he's hurt? Go check on him! Jeffy! Stop screaming, you goober! Marvin, go check on him! He's fine. Oh, Cody, you lost! Yeah, yeah, you lost, Cody! What, how did I lose? Because you pressed the button for Joseph. Mm -hmm. what, but it was Joseph's turn! But it was your finger that made her wake up. Yeah, it was the pressure of your finger, dude! Yeah, if, if Joseph would have pressed it, it wouldn't have went off. But since you pressed it so hard, you wanted Joseph to lose. Well, yeah. It was gonna go off no matter who pressed it! You have a problem with Joseph, you pressed it hard so yeah. she would wake up. What, no, this is stupid. I don't wanna play this game anymore. Why? Because you cheated to make Joseph lose? Cheater! What? You guys are cheating! Oh, no. Alright, listen. We'll just play a different game. But, Cody, no more cheating. Well, yeah, I'm not Cody. cheating. Come on. Get it together. Oh, there's someone at the door. Oh, you'll get up to go check the door, but not on Jeffy? <sighs> Hello? Hey, buddy, we're here for the surprise! Lady, where are we? Oh, don't worry about that, Karen. You know what? You just stay right here while I finish getting your surprise ready. What's going on? Shut up. Let me come inside. Uh, Karen, you stay here. So what's going on? Oh, I screwed up really bad, man. Today's my wife's birthday, but I totally forgot. But I told her that I didn't forget and that I had a big surprise plan for her. So what's the surprise? Well, see, that's the thing. I don't really have a big surprise. I lied. You lied? Yeah, so I thought we could just set up a birthday party here, and I could tell it was a big surprise party that I planned a long time ago. You want us to lie? Yes, exactly. A big convincing lie, yeah. But we don't have the stuff for a party here. Well, exactly. And that's why I brought two for $60 for your wife to go buy party supplies while we distract my wife. I don't want to lie! Bitch, please! Just help me out here! It's not that hard, okay? Look, it's not even a lie if we really do it. Well, what kind of party supplies? You know, like balloons and cupcakes, party shit! I don't know, go, okay? Just Okay! Jesus. How do you even deal with her? Uh, how do we distract your wife? I don't know. Do you have anything fun? Well, the kids are playing board games downstairs. Yes, that's perfect. Okay, just ground all of them and we'll take their board games and play them with my wife. Is board games enough to distract your wife? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, my wife is an absolute dunce, okay? A complete nincompoop. Okay, so I'll go get the board games and you go get your wife. Yes, I will go do that. What are we supposed to do, Cody? I think you're supposed to bend over in front of it and let it floss your butt crack. I'll pass. What are you kids doing? <laughs> We're playing board 
games. Well, Jeffy, you're grounded for screaming earlier. I was scared. Well, it hurt my ears, so grounded. Well, at least we can keep playing. No, all you kids, you better go upstairs or I'm going to tell your parents you were doing drugs. Ah, oh, snitch. W what's your deal, dog? Well, we're having an adult party downstairs and there's no kids allowed. Well, I want to go to the adult party. I'm 18. No, it's my house, so you got to listen to my rules, Jeffy. So all the kids upstairs. Gee. Now. Uh, <sighs> okay. Hey, Karen. Boy, it's raining outside. My hair's going to get all frizzy. Well, it's going to be worth it when you see a surprise. Come on. Hey, you ready? Yeah, I got a bunch of board games. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, I grabbed a beer out of your fridge. I hope you don't mind. Boydy, where are we? Oh, you can take your blindfold off now, Karen. <gasps> Boydy, what is this? Surprise! Surprise! It's a surprise party! Boydy, you threw me a surprise party? I thought you forgot! No, no, I would never forget your birthday. But look, we're going to play board games before your party! Board games? I love board games! Yeah, I know, so just pick one. Uh, let's play! This one! Mm -hmm. Stir the pot. Uh, it says it roasts your friends for you. Yeah, it's, it's a great game. Super fun. <gasps> you played it before? No, but we totally should. Yeah, let's do it. So how do we play this game, Boiny? Well, you draw a card, and whoever the card describes the best gets to keep the card. Oh, how fun! I want to go first. Who is most likely to talk through the whole movie? <laughs> That'd be you, Karen. <laughs> I do not, Boiny! Yeah, you do. Take the card. Let's see what I got. Let's see, who has the shortest attention span? That's another card for you, Karen. That's not true. <gasps> oh my god, I love this wall color. It's so orange. Yeah, I'm just going to give you this card. All right, my turn. All right, who comes the least prepared? That's you because you forgot her birthday. Shut the fuck up. Oh, it's my turn again. Let's see, who needs a new button? <laughs> that sounds like you again, Karen. Boy, that's not very nice. Yeah, well, it's true. You need to be quieter. All right, let's see. Who has the most annoying voice? Another card for you, Karen. Wow, you're good at this game. I don't like this game, Boiny. It's kind of mean. Oh, I love this game. All right, it's my turn again. All right, let's see. Who never shuts the fuck up? Wow, Karen, another card for you. You should go pro. Okay, you know what? It's my turn again. I'm going. Who is most likely to get offended by a joke? Well, that one's for you, Boiny. I don't get offended. I don't get offended at anything. I love jokes. I laugh at jokes all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to go again. Let's see. Who is most likely to get checked into anger management? Oh, that's another one for you, Boiny. I don't have anger problems, Karen. I just need to be away from you. Okay, let's see what we got. Whose phone do you want to go through the most? Let me see your phone, Boiny. Oh, you're never going anywhere near that damn thing. I want to see your phone. No, Get it out, Boiny. No, no, I'm going to draw a card now. Let's see. Uh, who is most likely to start an argument for no reason? Well, that sounds like you, Karen, because you're starting shit. No, i Boiny. You started this off whole argument during uh, the card game. Uh, hold on, hold on. I got a card, I got a card. How about how about this? Um, who would bitch out their grandma for not giving them enough birthday money? Oh yeah, that'd be me. Yeah, Gam Gam only gave me five dollars for my 37th birthday. She knew I needed rent money, she's loaded, she can afford it, but Gam Gam is a stingy bitch. I hope you fucking die, Gam Gam. You know what? I don't want to play this game anymore. It's making me pissed off about Gam Gam. Boyney, maybe you should stop drinking. Actually, I was just thinking I need another one. Oh, I'll get a different game. Stupid Karen starting shit. Hey, you yelled at your wife on her birthday? Yeah, she started it. Well, what are you doing? I'm getting more beer. It's the only way I'm going to get through the rest of this party. Well, look, just try to calm down. You're being kind of crazy. Yeah, well, that's up to her. Okay, I'm back. Aw, Bonnie, you brought a beer for everyone? <laughs> Good joke, Karen. You should be a comedian. No, these are all for me. Well, I went ahead and picked out the next game. It's called Spin the Dare. And you spin the arrow, whoever it lands on picks up a card and they have to do the dare. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna spin to go first. Well, it doesn't matter who spins first, Karen. It, it doesn't even matter who spins as long as it's whoever it lands on. Boyney, it's my birthday. I'm spinning first. Oh, Boyney, it landed on you. You get to draw a card and do the dare. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let another player go through your camera roll for two minutes. That's not happening. Oh, I'll go through your phone, Boyney. You're not going through my phone, Karen. What do you have to do with well, how about this? How about we can all skip one dare, but only one. I'll remember that, Boiny. Okay, so I have to do this dare. Let's see. Invite the last person you called who isn't already here to come join in on the fun. Oh, hell no. Who was the last person you called? It was Jonathan, but I only called him to tell him to stop calling me. Boiny, invite your brother over. Call him. That's not happening. Then let me go through your phone. I guess I'm calling Jonathan. Okay, it's ringing. Hey, Brooklyn guy! You want to block my number? No, this is for a dare. That's the only reason I called you. I knew you didn't hate me. Oh, I do, but we're playing this game and it dared me to call you and invite you to Karen's birthday party. <gasps> Karen's birthday party? I'm on my way! <sighs> oh, that's him. Hello? Where's Karen? Because I heard there was a fire! 
in my pants. <laughs> Is that my fireman outfit? Stop it. Stop. Stop stripping. I said stop it! Oh, why? Doesn't Karen want a sexy stripper for her birthday? Yeah, maybe if it was a sexy one. Look, just go home, change into a normal outfit, wash my fireman outfit, because I'm assuming you're not wearing underwear. Nope. Okay, yeah, wash that, and then come back, and I'll let you in. Oh, okay. Okay, he's here, so I win the deal. So, where's your birthday girl? I'm right here! Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Why'd you catch it, Karen? I don't know, Boiny. So, have you gotten your birthday spanking yet? Cause I'm gonna give you 18! Cause there's no way you're a day over 18! Aw, Boiny, did you hear that? He thinks I'm young! Yeah. Wait, I didn't miss the part where Karen gets in her birthday suit, did I? Okay, Jonathan, just calm down and let's play this game, okay? It's called Spin the Dare, okay? So you, so you just draw a card and you do the dare that's on the card and it's your turn. But Boiny, you gotta spin it! Yeah, we're not doing that anymore. It's Jonathan's turn. Now pick a card, Jonathan. Oh, Okay. Ooh, this one's spicy. Reveal who you F, marry, and kill using people from your group. Well, I killed Yuking Guy. Thanks. And then I would marry Karen. Aww. And then I would F Karen over and 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 Okay, Jonathan, oh, Jonathan, oh, Jonathan. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, uh, we can all skip a dare and you're skipping that dare, okay? Pick a different dare. Oh, okay. Oh, this one's juicy. Take a selfie, kissing the person to your left on the lips and post it on social media. Pucker up, baby. Oh, okay, okay. I don't want to play this game anymore. We're still, we're going to stop playing. No! That's not fair! You can't do that! There's no part of the rule that it's Karen's birthday! We're not doing that, Jonathan. Let's play Twister instead. Oh, hell yeah. Twister can do. No, no Twister the game. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a game. Okay, let, let's start the game. So what are the rules for Twister? Well, you spin this spinner, and then whatever body part and color it lands on, you put that body part on that color. But, Boiny, we don't have feet, so what happens if it spins on left foot or right foot? Ooh, I know! I'm gonna fix your board! We'll be right back! All right, so I fix your board. So now it says Karen's butt or Karen's boobs. We're not playing this. Go ahead and spin, Karen! Oh, uh, okay! Butt, 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 butt green! Dang it! Rose has the parties ready. Oh, thank God. Uh, Karen, it's time to put your blindfold back on. Ooh, great idea, looking guy. That way she doesn't see where she's sitting. No, no, it's for the party. Come on, Karen. Okay, the party's ready. Wow, this party actually doesn't look too bad. I did a good job. Boiny, I can't see where I'm going. Ooh, I'll help you just back up over here. Oh! Jonathan, stop spanking my wife! Well, she needs her birthday spankings anyway! 17 more. Karen, you can take the blindfold off. Oh, okay! Oh! Stop it, Jonathan! 16 more! <gasps> Boy, did you set this up just for me? Mm, uh, yeah, yeah, I sure did. I, I set all this up months ago. Cupcakes are stale as fuck. Boy, did all those mean jokes you were making were just to distract me from you setting up a surprise birthday party? Yep, that. All of the things you just said, all of that is right. Yeah. Yeah, so we should light these candles. Ooh, Karen, I bet if you just touch the candles, they'll set on fire. Cause you're hot. Oh! Damn it, Jonathan, stop spanking her! I'm gonna go get the lighter. Okay, lit the candles. Let's sing a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Ow! Happy birthday to you. Ah! Happy birthday to Karen. Ow! Happy Now give me a piece of that cake! Jonathan! I wish Boiny would give me a big kiss! <gasps> That's really weird, you said Jonathan wrong. Come here, Boiny! Give me smooches! Okay. Oh, you taste like beer, Boiny. I know. I love you, Boiny! Thank you so much for my party! It's the best birthday ever! Yeah, I love you too, Karen. Last time on Jeffy Ball Z. Just when Jeffy finally got to use a wish and everything seemed peaceful, a mysterious figure emerged from the darkness. Is he friend or foe? Let's find out. So we're cool, right? Right, man? We're cool? 
Right? We're cool? You got me and my wife killed. Yeah, but I died too, and hey look, we're all back to life now, so we're cool. But you didn't know you were gonna die. No, but everything worked out, so we're cool. But if you could go back in time and make that same deal, but you know you won't die, would you do it again? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. But that guy's dead, so I could never do that, so we're cool, right? Right? We're cool? I can tell by the look on your face that we're cool. Yeah, we're cool. I'm gonna leave. Jeffy, you gotta cut this Dragon Ball shit out. But Daddy, if I collect all the Dragon Balls, then I could wish to be the biggest super sandwich the world has ever seen. No, Jeffy, you don't have to look for any more Dragon Balls. Just cut it out because you got us killed last time. But I want my wish. No, Jeffy, you already used a wish. Well, I had to use it to wish you guys back alive. Now, if I get another wish, I could wish for infinite wishes. I mean, you could wish for infinite wishes. <laughs> Jiro Fingershits have finally completed the perfect android, the perfect tool for world domination, Android 19, which is way cooler and more successful than my last experiment, COVID-19, which I really thought was going to cure the flu, and boy was I wrong. That was a huge disaster. But anyway, Android 19 will show the world just how smart and sexy I am, and all of the women of the world would say, Dr. Fingershits, you are so smart and sexy, and they will want to rob my big, beautiful, and circumcised brain, especially the fat ones. I am a bit of a chubby chaser. I want to be able to grab any part of her and it feel like boobies. Don't judge me. Okay, now, Android 19, rise! Rise and go find me the sexiest, fattest woman to be my queen! Yes, master. Yes! <laughs> Jeffy, I think the smartest decision is to not chase those Dragon Balls anymore. Me. What the hell is that? Hey, what are you doing? Fat barrel chested woman acquired. Excuse me? You are coming with me. Hey you, get away from my mommy. Photon laser. <laughs> See, Jimmy, that's why you have to cut this Dragon Ball shit out. There's a random robot in the house. Sciatic pain. What? Oh, my sciatic nerve. Ah. Ugh, no one gets on my daddy's nerves except for me. Uh, <laughs> Why didn't it work? I am impervious to energy blasts. Photon laser. <laughs> now come with me, Tubby. No! Jeffy, go save her! Go save her right now! Uh, I can't. Oh. I'm too weak. No! Maybe go. you're right, Daddy. Maybe I should give up the Dragon Balls. No, don't give it up! Go get Rose and then give up! No, Daddy. He's too powerful. No, Jeffy, come on! You can fight him! Uh, I quit. You have yellow hair! Uh. Jeffy! My sciatic nerve! Jeffy, it hurts! It hurts so bad! Go get Rose! Oh, I'm so excited for my fat, beautiful queen! Master, I have brought you a fat, barrel-chested female as you requested. What is this? She is not fat! Thank you! Well, she is a little bit fat, but I want it big, obese, gigantic, like my 600-pound life! Well, she is a little barrel-chested, so I'll give you that. Hey! I'm sorry, Master, I have failed you. Yes, you have! And since you can't do your job right, I will take care of her myself! Come with me, not very fat lady! I'm a failure. I couldn't even save my own mom. I'm too weak. <sighs> What's going on, Jeff? You got your depressed hair on. My mom got kidnapped, and I'm too weak to save her. I'm giving up forever, Junior. Don't give up. You can get stronger, and you can go save her. No, I can't. I'm a failure, and I'm never going to be strong enough again. Well, there's this guy I know. He can train you to be stronger. How? How, Junior? Well, all you have to do is bring him a cheesecake, and he'll teach you how to get stronger. If I bring him a cheesecake, I'll be strong enough to save my mom? Yeah, I think so. Then let's bring him a cheesecake. I have to save my mom, Junior. Come on, let's go. All right, Jeffy. There's the cheesecake. Grab it. Okay. What are you losers doing? in my kitchen. Oh no, it's Chef Pee Pee. Uh, put that cheesecake back before I turn you into Miss Me. Oh no, Jeffy, we're gonna have to fight him. I can't. I'm too weak. Okay, then I guess I'm gonna have to fight you. Oh, you're no match for my death fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God I beat him to it. I thought he had me. All right, let's go grab my phone off the couch and put my wig back on, and then we can go, go give the cheesecake to the guy. Okay. Oh, look, there's my phone. I'll get it. Well, Jeffy, how can you eat cheesecake at a time like this? Rose is kidnapped. You need to save her. Well, that's exactly why I need the cheesecake, so I can get stronger. No, cheesecake's not going to make you stronger. It's going to make you have diarrhea. Hopefully. Well, look, there's the news. Breaking news, okay? A mad scientist has kidnapped a woman, and he has something he wants to tell the world. Let's go to that now. Quiet! Hello, world! I am Dr. Jiro Finkelschitz, and my mustache is falling off, goddammit. 
Work, please. I bet you're wondering why I'm on your television screen. Well, I will tell you. I want the Dragon Balls, and I will execute this not very fat lady every... Hold, hold, please. <clears throat> I will execute this not very fat lady in 24 hours if I do not get the Dragon Balls, and I will execute another not fat lady, whatever, if I don't get the Dragon Balls in another 24 hours. And if you're thinking about stopping me, don't, because I have this very scary robot who will kill you. Thank you very much. Oh no! That crazy scientist is gonna kill Rose! You have to get the Dragon Balls and give them to him! Or I could get the Dragon Balls and wish for Mommy to be safe, like she just poofs out of there like poof. poof or we can get the Dragon Balls and then go beat up that scientist and get Rose back and then we can use the Dragon Balls to wish for something cool like a spaceship. Or you guys can say screw it to the Dragon Balls and go beat up the scientist right now and get Rose back before he kills her. Well, I gotta go get strong first. I got your phone, Junior. You better hurry, Jeffy! You better hurry! Look, Jeffy, there it is. There's the chamber. What are you doing in my swamp? Well, Mr. Shrekami, um, Jeffy's mom, she got kidnapped. And we need to go save her because she'll be killed in 24 hours. So we were wondering if we could use your chamber to train. Do you even know what this chamber is? It's a hyperbolic time donkey chamber. Every hour spent in this chamber is equivalent to one day here on Earth. I know, and that's why we want to use it to train. Well, the only way I'm going to let you use my chamber Chamber is if you bring me the Sara Lee creamy cream cheesecake! Jeffy, hand it to him. Oh, there she is. The Sara Lee classic creamy cheese creamy cake smooth and creamy no artificial flavors cheesecake! I will now make love. You guys go ahead and go in the chamber and do whatever you have to do. Alright, Jeffy, you go in first and then after 12 hours you come out and let me go in. Yeah, strong as fuck. Whoa, Jeffy, you look so strong. My turn, my turn. Hold on there, donkey. Only one entry per cheesecake. So if you want to go into the chamber, you have to bring me a creamy, cream, cream cheesecake. But we only had one cheesecake. Well, then get the hell out of my swamp. Oh, I want to be strong, but at least you're strong now, Jeffy. Let's go. Fuck yeah, Daddy. I'm ready to kick the shit out of somebody. Whoa, Jeffy, what happened to your hair? I put gel in it, and I also went super re-re, too. <laughs> so you're strong enough to go save Rose? Yeah. Come on, Junior. Let's go kick some supernatural ass. There! I had to take your mouth because you were being so annoying with all of the please don't kill me and I don't want to die. Shut up! Well, now it has been 23 hours and 59 minutes, so in one minute, I can finally kill you! Hey, stop right there. Stay away from my mommy. You are too late, man who uses too much hairspray! It's actually hair gel. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to kill your mommy! No, you're not. Come on, Jeffy, let's kick his ass. It's pointless to even try! Android 19, kill them! Yes, master. Come on, Jeffy, I got this. It's just a stupid little robot. Sciatic pain. Wait, ah, my back! Oh my god, it hurts! Hi, Bing. <laughs> You done did it now. I'm gonna power up my RPMs, my retards per minute. I already told you that your attacks are pointless. What? Yeah, I lost a chromie, but I found it. <laughs> Me. Android 19, what the hell was that? He is too powerful, master. Well, do something, kill him! Critical malfunction, global self-destruct, happening in 10 seconds. Yes, you hear that? Global self-destruct, now you're in trouble. Wait, did you say global? He's going to blow up the entire world, do something, kill him! You fucking did it, fuckhead. Take him, take him somewhere. I don't want any part of this. Instant transition. Oh my god, I'm a girl. Give me awards, woman of the year. Oh wait, wrong one. Instant transmission. <laughs> I brought us in space, so when you explode, you won't hurt anybody. <laughs> oh wait, what about me? Okay, here's your wife. Wait, Rose, you're back? But where's Jeffy? Oh, well, I got my ass kicked by the robot because he kicked me in the sciatic nerve. Wait, mine too, he hit me in the back. Is Jeffy okay? What? Look, the news. Breaking news, McKay. A robot was going to self-destruct and destroy the entire world. But some guy named Jeffrey took the robot into space and sacrificed himself to save the world. But he is dead. Wait, Jeffy's dead? No! After a grueling battle where Jeffy rescued his mommy, 
he made the noble sacrifice to save the Earth, blowing himself up in the process. Will Marvin and Junior's sciatic nerves ever recover? Is Jeffy really dead? Find out next time on Jeffy Ball Z. I'm so glad you ordered Panda Express. It's so authentic. Yeah, I love their spaghetti. Let's turn on a movie while we eat our Chinese food. Go get Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, 2, available now. Oh no! What's wrong, Marvin? The new Call of Duty just came out. What's wrong with that? Dougie's gonna ask me to buy it for him. Marvin, you don't know that. He asks every year. Marvin, calm down. Why don't you eat your fortune cookie? <sighs> okay. Marvin, <laughs> stop it! Don't eat it like that! You're supposed to read the paper! R read the paper? Marvin, please. Marvin, please! No, Dougie, I'm not buying you the new Call of Duty. But I'm easy. It's the new Call of Duty's Modern Warfare's tree. Didn't they already make Modern Warfare 3? Yeah. Then why did they make it again? Money. Well, I'm not getting it for you. Play the old one. I don't want to play the old one. I want the new one because it got the updated ground picks and they even bringing back the old map picks. Well, I don't have the money for Call of Duty. But you got money for panda food? Panda food? Dougie, I have a question. How did you get a custom fortune inside a fortune cookie? I called up my buddy Leroy who works at the fortune cookie factory. What? Oh, okay, well then how did you know that the fortune cookie was going to be in my Panda Express order? I got lucky. No, you did it, Dougie. Look, ask Leroy for money. I can't because he died last week. How'd he die? He got stuck in the fortune cookie packer. He was unfortunate. Well, Dougie, that's a lie. Look, go use your own money to buy Call of Duty. I would use my own money, but I lopsed it. How'd you lobster your money? Let me tell you. So I was at SeaWorld trying to see Shampoo the Whale, and Jimmy the Crippips was handing out pim ups to feed him. And I got me one big ass pim up, and I said, Come here, Shampoo, your glass. And Shampoo the Whale ain't like me calling him ugly, so he be done jumped up and ate me and swallowed me whole. So then I was in his belly, and I see Pinocchio, and I said, Hey, Pinocchio, why you be all up in Shampoo's stomach? And his ass said that he was looking for Nemo, and he was helping Nemo be done find his his dad and then Panachi Notch nose grew and I knew he was lying so I pointed at him and said you lying ass so then shampoo done stopped at the well wash and Will Smith's fish started washing him and I told Panach Notch to use his long ass nose to poke shampoo in the dangly punching bag tonsil throat thing and shampoo be done threw us up outside the tank so then I said thanks Panach Notch and he said Nah, you got to be all that pays me for saving your lives. And I said, what you want? And he said, what you got? And I said, $80, come about to go get a new Call of Duty. And he said, bet, I'll take this. Run your pockets, little boy. And I said, all right, chill, chill, chill. You can have my money, because Marvin's going to buy me the new Call of Duty. And Pinocchio -Pinoc said, that real nice of Marvin's to do that. And I said, yeah, Marvin's my best friend, and he likes to spend money on panda food. And Pinocchio not said, maybe he should stop spending all his money on panda food. And I said, all right, I'll tell him that. So, my bips, Panooka Nook said to stop spending all your money on panda food and buy me the new collar of dips. Dougie, that whole story was a lie. Not the whole thing. I did go to SeaWorld and I did see Jiminy Crippips. Look, Dougie, listen, how did you get inside SeaWorld? How'd you afford that? I got in for free because my cousin Ray Ray worked there scooping the whale poop. Well, ask Ray Ray for some money. I can't because he died last week. How did he die? Shampoo the whale bit his head off and his family got a really big silver bill. Well, ask his family for the money. I can't, because they died last week. How did they die? They were swimming in a pool, and they decided they was hungry for some toast, and they decided to drop the toaster in the pool, and they got electrocuted. That did not happen. Listen, the mall has a bunch of stores inside. Maybe one of them is hiring, so go to the mall and look for a job. You want me to go get a job and actually work for my money like some kind of animal? Yeah, go. <sighs> Here I go to go working. <sighs> I told you he was gonna ask for the game. Ooh, 
Mondays. Look, I got a job. Where'd you get a job at? They hired me to take the money out the water fountain at the mall. And look at all this money I got. They was just throwing it away. They was littering. And while I was taking the money out, this little girl threw a penny in the fountain and she wished for a pony. I said, little girl, you ain't going to be able to afford a pony if you keep throwing all your money in the fountain. Dougie, did the mall hire you to clean the money out of the fountain? Or were you at the mall and you saw money in the fountain so you took it? The second one. But my bitch, guess what? I'm going to be a business owner. I'm going to start a business that's called Dougie Cleans Water Fountains at the Mall as long as there's money in the LLC. Dougie, take this money back. It's not yours. No, no one tried to stop me except for the security guard that yelled stop it, but I just ran away. Dougie, take this money back right now. It's not yours. No, my bitch, help me count it. One penny, two pennies. My bitch, how many pennies is in a hundred dollars? Ten thousand. That's a made up number. You done made that up. <laughs> There's someone at the door, hold on. Hello? What? The cops? Yeah, so I was on patrol at the mall earlier, and I saw this dinosaur shoving a bunch of pennies into like this metal tin, so I yelled, hey, stop it, and he ran away. But I've seen him here before, so is he here now? Yeah. Does he have the pennies? Yeah. Okay. Please don't arrest him, he's just stupid. I'm not gonna arrest him as long as he gives the money back. It's honestly just a bunch of pennies and maybe some quarters that would be extremely petty theft, and all of that money just goes to a children's hospital, and I guess kids eat pennies, because there's no way it would be able to afford anything useful. Have you seen the cost of an x-ray? It's no wonder you can't find out you have ball cancer until you're 50. Well, he's upstairs. Okay. All right, officer, he's right there. Ma Bips, I counted to seven, but then my brain started to hurt. Oh, look, it's the mall cop that yelled, stop it. Yeah, that was me. I did say that. But I'm not a mall cop. I'm a real cop. If you want to see a mall cop, you should check out this hilarious flick, Paul Blart Mall Cop. <laughs> oh, Kevin James, what role won't you take? Why do you have that on you? I got like 60 copies of these because I ordered one on Amazon, and I guess they sent me 60 because they just wanted to get rid of them. So here, you can have that. That's a gift for me. But look, if you just give me the money back, we won't have any problems. But I work so really hard to get this money. He had a shovel. It took him two minutes. Listen, Dougie, give him the money back because you don't want to go to jail because then you won't be able to play the new Call of Duty. <sighs> so what am I supposed to do for manis? Uh, Marvin, I'm getting a call. It says potential fraud. <laughs> yeah, it's probably Jimmy Butler. Don't answer it. He is a fraud. Get all the way to the finals and then pissed it down his leg to a team that's named after a McDonald's menu item. Stick to making coffee, Jimmy. That's clearly a passion. But no, seriously, it's probably one of those scammers trying to get old people's money. Old people will give their credit cards out to anybody. Really? Yeah, it's a big problem. People call up old people pretending to be their grandkids at the IRS, and then old people will just hand over all their credit card information. Really? I don't like how you're saying really all high pitch and interested like that, but I really got to get going, so I'm just going to take this money and leave. I got some idea. <sighs> But, Dougie, why are you reading the Guinness Book of World Records? Because I'm looking for the oldest living people so I can call them and get their credit card information so I can get a new Call of Duty game. All right, Dougie, there's so much wrong with this. First off, scamming old people is wrong. Okay. And also, this is Guinness Book of World Records 2015. That was like eight years ago. Those old people are dead. No, they not, because if they was dead, then they wouldn't be put in the books. No, they're probably not in the new book because someone probably beat them. Well, that's really mean if you beat up the oldest living person. What? No, no, Dougie. Also, even if those old people are alive, their phone number's not in the book. Yes, it is, because how else are you going to call them and congratulate them on breaking the records? You don't call them. Listen, Dougie, I got an idea. No scamming old people. How about you set your own world record, and then they'll pay you, and you can buy the new Call of Duty. Oh, that's a good idea, Mobips. How about I set the record for most times asking for the new Call of Duty game in 10 seconds? Go. Can I have the new Call of Duty? 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 Can I have the new That's not a record, Dougie. Yes, it is. Show me someone else who had done it. No one's done it. All right, then that's a record, so call the record book, man. Okay, fine. I'll call him just so he can call you stupid. Hey there, did somebody call the Guinness Book of World Records? Yeah, I want to break a record. Oh, great. It's always cool to see somebody break a world record. What record do you want to break? Most times asking for the new Call of Duty game in 10 seconds. I don't think that's a record you can break. Well, watch just how fast I can ax it. Can I have a new Call of Duty? Can I have a new uh, Call no, of Duty? No, no, I, I just meant I don't think that's worth being in the book. Well, you guys have the world's oldest person in the book, and I don't think that's worthy of being in there. But that's actually impressive. All right, well, then why don't y'all have the world's youngest person in the books? That changes literally every second. Well, I want to seize it. Okay, do you have a world record to break or not? How about world's worst lie? I told a pretty bad lie earlier, and it was bad. Yeah, it was pretty bad. No. All right, how about world's scariest dream? A couple weeks ago, I had a really scary dream, and I woke up scared. Well, I can't see a dream to confirm how scary it was. Really scary? Well, I don't doubt that, but still no. All right, well, how about most KFC chicken eat it so fast? No, I don't think so. How about most Kool-Aid drank so good? No, if you don't have a world record, 
I'm just gonna leave. Well, I'm just trying to break a record so I can get paid so I can get a new Call of Duty game. Oh, we don't pay people for breaking world records. Well, if you don't pay anybody, then why am I trying to waste my time with my talents trying to press you, Mr. Record Book Man? Wait a minute, uh, are you a fucking dinosaur? Yeah. Well, I mean, that could be in the book. The world's only talking dinosaur. Well, I'm not gonna let you take my picture and put it in the book if I ain't gonna get paid. I want $10,000. Well, I mean, I'll pay you $100 just to get a selfie with a dinosaur. No, I want 10000 Dougie, just take that. $100 and you can buy your stupid Call of Duty game. No, I'm trying to bargain with the man. I want $10,000. He's not gonna pay you $10,000. Just take the 100 and you get your Call of Duty. <sighs> Fine. Okay, say cheese. Pickles. Okay, thanks. Here's your $100. Look, Dougie, now you can go get your Call of Duty. Yeah, but some just don't feel right. I wanted you to pay for it. What? Okay, then fine. I'll go pay for it. All right, Dougie, I got you Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and it only cost $5, so I got $95 back in change, and I gave it to a homeless person to make up for all the bad stuff you did today. Marvin, are you stupid? This is the whole Modern Warfare 3! It doesn't matter, it's all the same shit! Hey everyone, it's Logan. I just want to remind you guys about Gamersups. They sponsored us a few videos ago, and if you use this code below, you get 10% off anything you order off their website. They also said they might be giving us our own flavor, like our own Jeffy flavor, so if you guys have a funny name for like a Jeffy energy drink flavor, please post a comment below. But yes, use this code below, 10% off anything on the website. They might even give us our own cup. So guys, please check them out. You guys are amazing. We love you and we'll keep uploading videos. And also, Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is coming soon. We're working on it. Please just be patient. We're trying to get that out next weekend. Brooklyn guy, it's your turn. Ugh, I hate this game. It's so unrealistic. I'm a police officer and it says I make $50,000 a year, but I don't make anywhere near that much in real life. Well, I'm a film star and I make $100,000 a year, but I'm a different kind of film star. Ugh, I'm <laughs> just gonna spin. Oh, you got a nine! Brooklyn guy, you got a nine! Yeah, thank you, Jonathan. I can see that. Wait, Karen, where's your girl piece? It's not in the car. I was just there a second ago. Oh, Karen's in my car. Front seat. What? Jesus, Jonathan, why do you have so many women in your car? That's because it's just like real life, looking guy. Those are all my girlfriends, but don't you worry. I'll take real good care of her. Ugh, Jonathan, just take your stupid turn. Okay. Ooh, a ten! Just like you, Karen. Action space! Action space, everybody! Switch lives with the other player. You heard it here, Brooklyn guy. I get you bang your wife. What? That's not what the card says. Brooklyn guy, this is what the game says. Play your game! Jonathan, you wouldn't last a day in my life. I have to actually work instead of just staying at home and playing video games all day. I have to work, too. I have to take my medicine every day. And I have to rub mom's bunions. And sometimes, when I eat hot Cheetos, the dust is all over my fingers. And then it gets on my keyboard. <laughs> Wow, what a terrible life. Hey, would you look at the time? It's 10.30. Karen, we gotta go to bed. I have work in the morning. But I didn't bring my pajamas. Ooh, I'll go commando. Don't worry, he bites. No, you're going home because you can't stay here. Yo, okay. And actually leave this time. Don't just hide in the pantry like before. No, that was only once. Come on, Karen. Ugh, tonight sucked. Boiny, I think it's nice that you invited your brother to game night. I didn't invite him. We found him rummaging through the garbage like a raccoon with a GoPro on his head because he was looking for your used underwear. Boiny, you need to spend more time with your family. I hate my family. Do you want to fool around? No, Karen, I have to be up at 5 a.m. You never want to fool around anymore. <laughs> Good morning, world. Oh, so, Nami, how sorry you after last night. I didn't break you, did I? Oh, good morning, boy day. Karen, what are you doing in my bed? Wait, this isn't my bed? Where are my stains? Boydy, why are you being weird? Why do you keep calling me Boydy? I'm Jonathan! Boydy, you're late for what? Hold on, what is going on? Yeah! I'm, I'm, I'm... You're clean, guy? But how? We, we must have switched bodies from the board game. But if I'm in Brooklyn guy's body, then that means... Karen. Boiny, are you okay? Oh, 
trust me, I've never been better. So, since we're like married, and you're my wife, can we like, do stuff? But Boynie, aren't you gonna be late for work? Screw work? I'm about to go to work. Boynie, it's been a while. Oh, trust me, it's gonna be a while. Oh, Boynie. Let me close the door. Whoa, Boynie, five times? Yeah, I kept thinking of my mom. Whatever it is, it's working. I'm so glad I'm in Brooklyn guy's body. He's way bigger than me. What? Huh? What's that? That's your phone, Boynie. Oh, Brooklyn guy's phone. I mean, my phone, because I'm Brooklyn guy, and I should answer his phone, my phone. Hello? Guy, where the hell are you? You're six hours late for work. Who's this? It's your boss, the chief of police. Oh, I forgot I'm a police officer. Well, you're not going to be for much longer if you don't get your ass into work. Aye, aye, Captain. Who was that, Boynie? It was my boss. He wants me to come to work. Oh, okay, Boynie. But I don't want to go. I was having so much fun. We can have more fun later, Boynie. <laughs> okay. Daddy's got to go to work. Oh, yes, Daddy. <sighs> That's number six. See you later. What? Karen, why do you have you use tissues all over me? Oh, God, why are there so many? And what? why are they salty? What, K K K Karen? Wait, whoa, 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 what room is this? This isn't my house. What, Karen? Karen? What? What? Hot anime dolls? What? What? What is happening? Oh, no. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah! No, 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 I'm Jonathan. No, this can't be happening. No, this is a bad dream. That's what it is. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Damn it, no. Oh God. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna freak out. Okay, okay, well, let's think. What? How did this happen? Uh, okay, we played the game of life and then I went to bed. Oh no, it was that card. It said we would switch lives. Oh damn it. Okay, 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 keep calm. All I have to do is, is call Karen and then we'll figure this out. What? Why is Jonathan calling me? Hello, Jonathan. Karen, don't hang up. You say that every time, Jonathan. You know Boynie doesn't like us talking. But no, Karen, it's not Jonathan. It's me, Brooklyn guy. Oh, no. I'm not falling for that one again. A again? What do you mean again? The last time you said you were Boynie, it's because you wanted me to send you a nude. What? what you did? Yes, me and Minnie Mouse he is. What? You didn't tell me this? What the hell? Minnie Mouse is... Okay, look, that's not why I'm calling. Look, me and Jonathan switched bodies. Oh, no. You're not going to get me with that one either. What? He's tried this before? No, J Karen, it's really me. It's Brooklyn. Guy. Bye, Jonathan. No, don't hang up with him. Oh, God, this sucks. Karen doesn't believe me. Oh, and that explains the tissues. Ew. Oh, oh God, they were in my mouth. <laughs> Jonathan, Bobby's here. Uh, Mom, uh, don't come in. Oh, God, clean this one. All right, Jonathan. I got your breakfast right here. I slaved over a hot stove. It's Lay's potato chips and sour cream. I ate a little bit of them on the way in here. And also your Flintstone vitamin so you can grow up and be a big, strong man. But I'm 30 years old, Mom. But you'll always be my baby boy, won't you? Unlike your older brother, Brookie, that piece of shit. Now let's say the I hate Brookie pledge. Raise your hand. What, I... Raise your hand, goddammit! Uh... Now repeat after me. I hate Brookie. I was... That good-for-nothing piece of shit doesn't even love his own mother? Wanted to leave my house for some skank and start a family. Whatever. Amen. But you won't leave me, will you, baby boy? You're my precious little baby boy. That piece of shit doesn't even know where he wants to be. He can't even make up his own mind. Brookie's a failure. He's, he's a cop and a doctor. Can't even make up his own damn mind. What a shame. But you know exactly what you want to be. You want to be mommy's baby boy forever. Let me pinch them chicks. Tickle fight, tickle fight, tickle fight. Get, get away from me. What, you don't like your tickle fights no more? No, I'm just, I'm not in the mood today. But you always love your tickle fights. Well, not today. I'm just I'm not in the mood. All right, well, you know what I want you to do? I want you to run down to the market and get me a pack of Marlboro Blacks and a six-pack of Natural Light and also some Bunion Cream and come down and rub me down because I've had a rough day. Okay, I need to get the hell out of here. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm going to call my old phone and see if Jonathan answers. Come on, answer, answer. You're me now. Just answer my phone. Hello, 911. This is Officer Brooklyn Guy. What's your emergency? What, Jonathan, you don't answer your cell phone as a 911 operator. It's your phone. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Who is this? It's your brother. 
Oh, my younger brother, Jonathan? How are you enjoying your miserable life? Well, I did wake up in a pile of tissues. Oh, well, that's funny. I woke up next to a hot babe. Yeah, well, I woke up next to six dolls. Don't touch them! Especially Nami. Wait, which one is Nami? The redhead. She's a virgin. Yeah, you know, I doubt that. Wait, wait, does that mean the rest of them aren't? Well, what I do with my dolls is no one else's business. Well, I guess it is your business now, since you're me. You see the one with her legs up in the air? Uh, yeah. Freak. Uh, okay, look, Mom just brought you your breakfast of Lay's potato chips and sour cream? Oh, she did? That's my favorite breakfast. That's not breakfast. Your cholesterol must be insane. D well, did she bring the Flintstone vitamins too? Yeah. Well, just take that. It counteracts the cholesterol. I don't think it works like that. But look, I, that's, that's not why I'm calling. I want my body back. Oh, I don't think that's going to happen, Brooklyn guy. You see, I'm better at being you than you. Ask your wife. No, you did not touch her. You know what I really like, Brooklyn guy? The tattoo of your butterfly above her left butt cheek. But how do you know about that? <laughs> well, anyway, I got to get back to work. The police is really riding my butt. You know, I got to support this hot wife. See ya. No, don't you hang up. What? Oh, that is it. I am going to my house. Daddy, are you home early from work? What, Daddy? Jonathan, what are you doing in here? No, Karen, it's not Jonathan. I'm Brooklyn guy. Jonathan, get out of this house. What, no, Karen, please, just listen to me. I know it sounds crazy, but I think me and Jonathan switched bodies. We were playing the game of life last night, and we got that card about switching lives, and I think we did. Jonathan, if you don't get out of this house, I'm going to be forced to call the cops. Uh, don't, don't, don't call the cops. Wait, wait. Yes, call the cops. I need to talk to him. Okay, I warned you. I'm going to call the cops. Hey there, somebody called a cop? Boiny, your brother won't leave. Who let my little wiener brother in here? Jonathan, you know we switched bodies. Oh, what's wrong? You're gonna go in the mirror and cry about how small your wiener is like you do every morning? Or maybe you're tired of peeing your bed every night? Wait, Jonathan, you're just telling on yourself. N n uh Then why are you answering to Jonathan? Ch I'm not! Baby, you want me to get rid of this fool? Yes, Daddy. Uh. And since when did she call me Daddy? She calls me Daddy. Cause I know how to please a woman. Wait, so you and my wife? Oh yeah. Okay, that's it, we're fighting. You can't hit me, I'm a cop. <laughs> ow, ow, no, ow, ow, uncle, uncle, we switch bodies. We what? Bodies. We played a game last night, not through the card, and we switch bodies. That means Jonathan and I... <laughs> oh, okay, oh, yeah. that's it, that's it, we are changing back. Oh, I was having fun though. No, we are changing back, I just don't know how to do it. Uh, I know how. No, Jonathan, we're not playing another game. With this card, all I have to do is put it down and then we reverse back into each other's bodies. Uno reverse. Nothing's happening, Jonathan. Switch bodies back. It's not working. Oh, oh well. You said me and Karen had something to do in the bedroom. Let's go, Karen. Karen? Before we switch back, I gotta do something real quick. No, Jonathan. What, what? I'm back in my own body, baby. It's me. No, Jonathan, I'm not falling for it. I'm gonna go back to my husband until you switch bodies back. No, no, no it's really me this time. <clears throat> oh, man. Now I'm back in my stupid psoriasis covered body. Boy, I'm gonna be with you forever. Until you switch back bodies. Uh, uh, yeah, until we switch back bodies. That might take a long time. Karen, no, really, it's me. We switched bodies back. Uh, no, we didn't. What? Oh, hello, hello, okay. Karen. Back. <laughs> we switched back. We switched back. Yeah. Oh, come on, open. Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm trying to open my oatmeal cream pie. Well, let me open it. Oh, don't, don't hit me with oh, it. Oh, look, Daddy, you got it open for me. Thanks. Marvin, I took another pregnancy test, and it says not pregnant. Again? Wait a minute, Daddy. You're Porky? Porky Pig? Well, uh, uh, well uh, 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 yes, Jeffy. We're just trying to have a kid of our own. But, but, but what about me, Jeffy, the Jeff man? Well, Jeffy, I want to experience motherhood. You know, pregnancy, childbirth, breastfeeding. Breastfeeding? If you want to breastfeed somebody, I'm right here. And you got two of them, so me and Daddy can tag team. What, well, Jeffy, no. Listen, we just want to have a, a real kid. I'm a real boy. Well, Jeffy, don't do your stupid Pinocchio impression. Wait a minute, Daddy. So you're telling me while I'm eating oatmeal cream pies, y'all are in the bedroom making your own? Yeah. Blah. You're telling me while I'm asleep in my bed, y'all are in your bed doing something nasty? Uh, yeah. Blah.
Well, listen, Jeffy, there's nothing wrong with it. Marvin, this is the third one month in a row that it says not pregnant. Maybe you should go to the doctor and get your fertility tested. You're right. I should go to a doctor and get tested. Can I come? No, Jeffy. We don't have to test you. <laughs> I mean, can I go with you? Yeah, you can go with me. Come on. All right. Hey there, welcome to the doctor's office. How can I help you? Well, doctor, for the last three months I've been trying to get my wife pregnant, but it's just not working. Oh, well, you're shooting blanks, huh? I think so. I think we can help with that. Hey, doctor, I got a problem. What's that? Every morning at precisely 8 a.m. I take a dump. Why is that a problem? I don't wake up till 9. Oh, well, okay, I guess I recommend setting an alarm for 7.59 then. I'll just sleep in it. Okay. So, doctor, how do we fix my problem? Well, if we want to check and see if your tadpoles are alive and swimming, I need you to take this cup, go into the bathroom, and, uh choke the monkey or spank the chicken, whatever the kids are saying these days, just quick, right in the cup. So I'm supposed to go in there and do it by myself? Well, I'm not going to do it for you. I mean, I can ask the nurses if they want to help, but I'm pretty sure they're all married. One of them might be in debt, though. No, I'll just do it myself. i just never done it with a cup before. You do know you're not supposed to bang the Tupperware, right? I, as long as it ends up in the cup, that's all that matters. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm just supposed to go in the bathroom and just do it off imagination? Well, yeah, I mean, I got a laptop set up in there. It's got a couple tabs open already. I highly recommend 3 minutes and 59 seconds on the first tab. Oh, tell me that's not the hottest shit you've ever seen. Oh, and in the third tab? Tell me how she fits 8 basketballs in her rump. I'm a doctor and I couldn't even figure that out. Okay, it's just, this is really weird. I've never done something like this before. Have you? Oh, yeah, I do it all the time. I've donated three times today. You've donated? Oh, yeah, every time I'm stressed out, I just go in there and make a donation. I don't know how many kids I got running around out there. Okay, I'll go do it by myself. I don't like how you keep saying by myself like you thought we offered some kind of service. I'm starting to question why you even came here. I'm gonna go do it. Okay, I did it. You didn't put the lid on it? I'm not good at screwing the lid on. Well, you can't get your wife pregnant, so you're not good at screwing anything. Hey! Wait, wait a minute. Why is it all bluish green like this? Isn't that what it's supposed to look like? No! Hold on. Wait, is it? Ew, don't do that! That is Mountain Dew Baja Blast. It is? Yes, you splooge Mountain Dew Baja Blast. No wonder you can't get your wife pregnant. Your balls are full of Baja Blast. How often do you drink it? Uh, like three to four times a day. Sweet Jesus, of course you can't get her pregnant. And that's probably why you don't have any teeth. They all rotted off. I did a sample too for fun. What, his is also Baja Blast? Well, all we drink at my house is Baja Blast because we stay up late and Taco Bell's the only thing open. How are you alive? Well, what are we supposed to drink? Water. Well, water doesn't taste like Baja Blast. Well, you're going to die in five months if you keep this up. So you're telling me I can never have a kid? Well, look, the only way I can think of, in my professional medical opinion, that your wife could get pregnant is if I hid in your closet and you went into the bedroom with your wife and you turned the lights off and before you guys started you said, hold on, I gotta get something out of the closet and then I very sneakily came out of the closet, I bang your wife and she thinks I'm you and then I, when I'm done I go back in the closet, you turn the lights on and she thinks you got her pregnant. We're not doing that. Oh, come on, man, be cool. No. Let me bang your wife. No, there has to be another way I can get my wife pregnant. Well, there is a lame option. Artificial insemination. What is that? Well, it's where I see if I can find any sperm cells in this thing, and then I take one of those, and I take an egg from your wife, and I fertilize it. Wait, get an egg from mommy? Mommy's a chicken? <coughs> No, Jeffy, mommy's not a chicken. Every woman has eggs inside their body. Scrambled or over easy? <laughs> Scrambled when I get done with them. <laughs> yeah. Let's just do the artificial insemination. Okay, that'll be $25,000. I don't have that kind of money. Yeah, closet's looking pretty good, isn't it? Well, can I donate this for money? Maybe to a Taco Bell. Come on, give me a deal. <sighs> okay, fine. You know what? Because we're friends, I'll do it for free. But really, just because I think everybody should have to experience the hell of being a father. Thank you so much. Come on, Jeffy, we have to get mommy. All right, I'll work on getting a sperm out of your Baja Black. Oh, wait, shit. Which one of these was Marvin's? Uh, uh, ho hold on. Uh, w what is it Forrest Gump always says? Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Jenny. No, no, that wasn't it. That didn't help at all. Uh, with, uh, right. Right is right. Yes, right. Yes, that's right. It's this one. Okay, doctor, we're back. So what's going on, Marvin? I'll explain it. Marvin's balls are full of Baja Blast, so we need to do an artificial insemination. Now, I was only able to find one tiny little sperm cell in there, and he is barely alive. So we don't have time to take your egg out. I just have to go right in. Oh, okay. Okay, so lay down and spread your legs. Now, this might hurt a little bit, but don't worry. I'm going to numb it first. Num, 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 num. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Marvin. Just kidding. Unless, maybe. No. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm going to do it. Now, you're going to feel something that feels a little bit like a mustache in my tongue. <laughs> Just kidding, Marvin. Just kidding. Unless. No. Okay. All right. This time for real. So hold still. Okay. I did it. You are now pregnant. Really? Marvin, we're going to have a baby. I'm so 
so excited for the next nine months. I'm going to take care of you. Oh, don't worry. It's not going to take nine months. No, because of all that Baja Blast, it's only going to take about a minute. A minute? Oh, yeah. All those cells are hopped up on sugar, so we should probably just hard cut to her screaming in pain. <laughs> Calm down. Doctor, can you do something for the pain? Can you numb her? Well, I mean, I can, but I'd have to take the mask off first. No, I mean like an epidural! Oh, no, it's way too late for that. She's gonna have to feel all of it. Okay, now push! Ah! Harder! Ah! Alright, that's it. I'm putting my hand in there. Ah! Oh, that was way too easy. Ah! 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 Oh, look at that! It's a beautiful, gigantic baby girl who's already wearing a diaper and has a bow. Oh my god, she's so why does she look like Jeffy? Oh, fuck. Uh, I mean, what are you talking about? She looks just like you. No, she looks just like Jeffy! Uh, okay, well, look, here's what happened. Uh, there were two cups of Baja Blast, and I just kind of made an educated guess about which one was yours. So Jeffy got my wife pregnant! Well, technically, I got your wife pregnant with Jeffy's kid. I mean, if you think about it, we all got her pregnant. You brought her here. You know how they say it takes a village to raise a child? Well, in this case, it takes a village to get your wife pregnant. Oh, hell no! There's no way we're keeping this kid! No, Marvin, I love her! Well, then you can run away and be with Jeffy! Marvin, that's sick. You crossed a line. No, this already crossed a line! You had a kid with Jeffy! That wasn't my fault! It all happened so fast! Hey, can everybody just get out of here? Because I'm starting to feel like this is kind of my fault. It is your fault! Well, I mean, look, I get over things quicker when I don't have to look at them, so I think everybody should leave, because I'm kind of freaking out right now. Okay, you know what? Well, what are we going to do with this kid? We're going to take it home and love her! Oh, no. I hate my life. Yes, yeah, see? You're being a father already. Jeffy, meet your sister daughter. Why did you say daughter? Because, Jeffy, they use your Baja Blast instead of mine. So I got mommy pregnant and I didn't even get to do the fun part? Jeffy, they got her pregnant using a needle. Okay, I know it's small, but I'd say it's bigger than a needle. Like a Vienna sausage, cut in half. Jeffy, I don't think you understand how serious this is. You have a daughter now. What do you want to name her, Jeffy? Well, I've always liked the name Jessica, so I think I'll name her Jeffica. If you like Jessica, just name her that. I like Jeffica. Aww. I like Jeffica too. That's an ugly name. Hey, Jeffica, what doing? <laughs> okay, that's it. I, I can't do this anymore. I'm living in hell. Come on, Jeffica. Let's go outside and play. That's a good idea, Jeffy. Some father daughter brother bonding. I can't do this. I can't do this. All right, Jeffica. Sit right there, but don't eat the grass. We, we. I said don't eat the grass. My turn. <laughs> Jeffica? Where'd you go? Oh, fuck. Hey, Jeffy, where's Jeffica? Don't get mad, but the stork took her back. What? Well, we were outside eating grass, and the stork swooped down and picked her up and flew off. Oh, my God, my baby! A stork? Well, it may have been a hawk. <laughs> Or well, maybe this is for the best. Marvin, don't call the cops! Okay! <laughs> hey there, somebody call the cops? Oh, hey, it's you guys. How's the baby doing? A hawk took my baby! A hawk? Did you say a hawk? Yeah, a hawk. Well, where'd the hawk go? Up. Oh, yeah, that is where hawks tend to go. Can you get my baby back? Baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Chilies, baby back ribs, barbecue sauce. Probably not. Well, why can't you get my baby back? Baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Chilies, baby back ribs, barbecue sauce. I'm sorry, that's just a tick I have every time someone says baby back. Baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Chilies, baby back ribs, barbecue sauce. Please don't say it again. Can you get my baby from the hawk? Well, how am I supposed to do that? I don't have fucking wings, and I don't even know where the hawk is. It might be on top of some tree somewhere pecking your baby's eyes out. Or, or maybe raising your baby as one of its own, if that comforts you. Okay, well, look, we weren't supposed to have that baby anyway. It was an abomination. Why don't we use my Baja Blast and get you pregnant for real? Oh, no, I don't think you guys are fit parents if your baby got eaten by a hawk. I think you should just be happy with what you got. Well, today was a Baja Blast. I gotta go make a phone call. Thank you so much, Mr. Hawk, for taking that baby. <coughs> yes, I'll Apple Pay you right now. Away in 
the moonlit glow We'll find our way when the dream feels far You've still got time, keep climbing higher Reach your prime, chase the stars The night's the stage, unfold your wings, unleash Oh 
come for me I'm gonna come for you and we can melt together Forever and ever We can melt together Forever and ever and ever and ever Come with me Come with me Won't you please come with me tonight? Lay. The void is lost, it's 
secrets deep What slumbers there, what should we weep? watching TVs. Bernie, why do you need three televisions? Well, because, Karen, I was diagnosed with ADHD when I was 30, so I need constant stimulation. See, on the big TV, there's a hurricane that might hit us, so if the videos are rushed this week, that's why. But I'm keeping my eye on that. And then on the top right TV, I'm watching a plane crash documentary. And on the bottom right TV, I'm watching Max Keeble's Big Move. All on mute, by the way, because I like to use my imagination. <gasps> don't do it, Max! What if you don't move? Bernie, I'm turning TVs. What, all of them? Can't I at least watch two? I want to see if this plane crashes and I want to see if Max moves. Boyne, come on. Every day you get home from work and all you do is sit here and watch television. Let's go to bed. Ugh, gay. Ugh. So, Boyne, what do you want to do? <laughs> Dancing. Boyne, what are you doing? I'm watching TikToks, Karen. You know, if they had TikTok when I was a teenager, I would have, I don't know, I would have done something. I know I would. Boyne, get off your phone and pay attention. To me. Why? Because I want to cuddle, Boyne. Well, Karen, you know we can't cuddle with Tom Brady's last football in the way. Boyne, I don't know why you love this football so much. Well, do I need to explain it for the 50th time? Please don't. Well, I will, because this is the last football that Tom Brady ever threw as a Patriot. And yes, it got intercepted and ran back for a touchdown and he lost. I'm talking generational pants shitting, Karen. But still, I was there. I saw it. Boyne, that doesn't make any sense. Good night, Karen. Can we just move it for one night? No. Good night, football. <laughs> Boyne, turn your phone off. It's bedtime. People have phones, Karen. They watch them when they go to sleep. <laughs> okay, Sakaya. Is this the right house? I think so. Okay. Let's break in and take everything they got. Okay. I can't believe they don't have doors to open. I don't expect you to kick it open. Shh! There might be people sleeping. You need to be quiet. You're the one who gets the door. Shh! Don't shush me. I'm going to shush you. Shush! You shush! You shush! I shush you. Just be quiet. Let's go! <gasps> Sakaya, look! We hit the jackpot! Three TVs in their living room! They're rich! Oh shit, hurricane coming. Oh shit, we should put up our shutters. We don't have shutters. Then we steal theirs! Oh, good idea. I think we should take off three TVs. I agree. I think it'll look great in our apartment. <gasps> Sakaya! Oh. oh, look at this couch! Sakaya, remember last week? You told me you wanted three-seater gray couch! Yes, just like it rooms to go, same color! Oh, it's perfect! If only they had the matching love seat. <gasps> Sakaya! Matching love seat! Oh, it's literally what you wanted! Oh, coffee table! Coffee table! Is that stand mahogany? Just like you were looking at on Facebook Marketplace! Oh, the only thing we're missing for our dream living room is aqua green lamp! Oh! oh! Aqua green lamp! Oh, we should steal whole house! I think we should steal whole house! Let's go! <laughs> Ah, damn, Karen, we need a new mattress. This one's so hard. Wait a minute. <gasps> the football's gone. Karen! Karen, wake up! Oh, what, Boyne? Karen, Tom Brady's last football is gone! Why, it's fine. You probably just threw it in your sleep. No, I didn't. It was right there. Look. Hmm. <gasps> Boyne! I know, the football's gone. Boyne, our mattress is gone! Oh, yeah, that's gone, too. Quick, turn on the light. Okay. <gasps> Boyne, the whole room is empty! Oh my god, we must have been robbed. Hold on, I'll check the rest of the house. <gasps> Karen, my three TVs are gone! Oh, Boyne, all our furniture is gone! But 
here in my three TVs. How am I gonna watch Max Keeble's big move, watch plane crash documentaries, and track a hurricane all at the same time? Boiny, all our furniture is gone. Oh, my aqua green lamp. Oh, I'm gonna call the cops. Uh, I gotta call 911. Oh, my other phone's ringing. I wonder who that could be. Hello, 911, what's your emergency? Yes, my house just has been robbed. Everything's gone. Okay, sir, calm down. Do you know who did it? No, but they took everything. Please send somebody right away. Okay, sir, we'll have an officer right out to you. Oh my god, thank you so much. Karen, I called the cops. Wait, Boiny, aren't you the cops? Well, come on, Karen, I think the cops are here. Hello? Oh, thank god the cops are here. Boiny, there's no one there. What are you talking about, Karen? The officer's standing right there. Just keep looking. What? <laughs> hey there, somebody call the cops? Boiny! Well, you did call the cops, right? Boiny, stop it! Hey, yeah, I called the cops. We got robbed. They took everything. Oh, oh do you know who did it? Oh. Boiny, knock it off. Yeah, you're right. This joke's getting old anyway. Come on inside. Okay. Wow, they really did take everything, huh? Yeah, officer, they really cleaned us out. Boiny, cut it out. Okay, Karen, but I don't know what to do. I'm the only cop. Boiny, just take what you know and make an assessment. Hmm, who would rob us? Do we have any enemies? I don't. Everybody loves me. I'm a lovely person. A lot of people hate me. I do have a lot of enemies. Huh, who would rob us? Hmm. They took my three TVs and my Tom Brady football. Who would want to do that? <gasps> you! What? You hated my TVs and my football because I gave them more attention than you! But Boydie, how would I take all our furniture? Huh, okay. Well, I got my eye on you. Well, you see, my TVs are replaceable, but my football's not, so who would want to steal that? <gasps> Tom Brady! What? Yeah, he hates that football. Of course he'd want to take it. It makes perfect sense. And he stole everything else to cover up that he was stealing the football. Boiny, that's ridiculous. He wouldn't do that. He deflated footballs to win games, Karen. He's smart, and he makes out with his son. I don't really know the motive for that. Maybe he's just fucking weird. But I'm going to go interrogate him. But Boiny, no! Oh, it's so boring. There's nothing to do. Where am I? Hello, Tom. Or do you prefer Thomas? Tom's fine. Well, do you know why you're here, Tom? Is this because I went to a ditty party? Oh, you did? Well, no. I guess we're gonna find out about that later. But no! Have you ever robbed anyone, Tom? Rob Gronkowski? Uh, yeah, that is a guy whose name is Rob. But no, I mean, have you ever stolen anything? Well, I stole the other team's plays. Okay, well, that's cheating, Tom. But no, I mean, have you ever broken into someone's house and taken something that didn't belong to you? No. Oh, really? Well, have you ever had anything taken from you? Like, maybe, your ex-wife? Whoa! Yeah, that's right, Tom. I'm going there. And I'm gonna keep showing you this picture of your ex-wife being uncomfortably close to Antonio Brown until you tell me what I want to know. I don't know anything, I swear! Oh, really? Because somebody broke into my house and they stole the last football you ever threw as a Patriot. The one that was intercepted and run back for a touchdown. Why would you bring that up? Because I was there, Tom. And I remember it like it was just yesterday. Come on, Brady. You can win. Just gotta throw a hundred-yard touchdown. You can pull that off. And it was intercepted. Yep. No, oh, yeah. There it is. That's that. Be cool to have that ball one day, though. Yeah. It happened right in front of me. And I have that ball now. Or at least I did until you stole it. I didn't steal it, I swear. So you're not gonna talk, huh? Okay. No more Mr. Nice Cop. It's time for Mr. Naughty Cop. W what are you doing with that chapstick? Pucker up, Tom. I'm gonna kiss you until you tell me the truth. Oh no! I don't want you to kiss me! Hey, Boiny, how was interrogating Tom Brady? Well, he is definitely innocent. He definitely didn't rob us. Good kisser, though. What? Nothing. Hey, maybe I should interrogate Tom Brady. No, I don't think you're really his type. Well, who's next on your suspect list, Boiny? Let's see, who else would want to rob us? Oh, I know, Jonathan. What? Your brother? Yeah, think about it, Karen. He's jealous of me. He wants to be me. Maybe he thinks if he steals all of our furniture and all my stuff, you'll leave me for him. You know what? That one actually makes sense. Yeah, that's right. To my mom's house! Boiny, are you going to drive? I thought we were going to do like a transition with my face. You know, it's going to be like, yeah, you know. Boiny, just drive. Okay. <laughs> I think that's enough for today. Hey, Jonathan. <gasps> How long have you been in my room? I think I got here right on time. Well, I was looking at the anime girls while I did it. Okay, look, I just have a few questions. Well, listen, the paper towel roll was an experiment, but the whole, he feels really good. No, not about that. Did you break into my house and steal all my stuff? Does it look like I broke into your house and stole all your stuff? No, not really, but I thought, like, maybe you were jealous of me. <laughs> jealous of you? Do you see what I'm working with here? Yeah, you're 35, living with mom, banging the Incredible Hulk. You're really living the dream here. Yeah, because he probably feels like the real thing. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry I came. You did? Wow, you didn't even touch him. No, Jesus, Jonathan, I'm leaving. 
Boiny, how was interrogating your brother? My brother is a very sick man. Oh no, does he have the flu? No, what he has is much worse. Oh, <gasps> cancer? I, I don't know what's wrong with him. Well, who's next on your suspect list, Boiny? Who else would want to rob us? Hmm. 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 Meh. 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 My ex-wife. Oh, no. Yeah, but do I really want to go talk to her? Hmm. Meh. Meh. No. No, no, I don't. But Marvin! Marvin? You think Marvin stole our stuff? No, I really don't. But I'm out of leads, and usually when I go over to his house, something happens. So to Marvin's house! Boyne, you still gotta drive. Fuck. Damn, I'm coming. Hello? Get up against the wall! Huh? Why'd you rob me? What? Bitch! I didn't rob you! I was afraid you'd say that. Can I come in and talk? You already are inside. Oh yeah, you're right. To the red couch! Ugh, so what's going on? It's 1 a.m. Well, me and my wife went to sleep about an hour ago, and when we woke up, we found somebody broke into our house and stole all our stuff. Stole all your stuff? Yeah, all of it. Like my three TVs. Wait, why do you have three TVs? Ugh, you sound just like my wife. Yes, my three TVs, my couch, that football that's sitting right there next to you, my... What? Marvin, you're under arrest. For what? For stealing all my stuff. Well, no, no, I didn't steal this. I bought this on Facebook Marketplace an hour ago. What were you doing on Facebook Marketplace this late? Well, I like to buy Nick. Knickknacks. Knickknacks? How much did you pay for this thing? Like a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? Jesus fuck, you can't even afford your mortgage and you're buying a hundred dollar footballs? We can't even afford to buy me new shoes. Well look, I bought a copy of Max Keeble's Big Move for two dollars. Two dollars? What a steal, Marvin. I would say that's the max amount of Keeble you can get for two dollars. What a big move. I know, I, I couldn't believe it. It was so cheap. Well, okay, well what did the guys that sold you this stuff look like? Hmm, well they were wearing black. Black? No, 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 they were white, wearing black. Oh, well, do you have their phone number? I do have their phone number. Let me get it for you. All right, I'm going to call them and give them a piece of my mind. Okay, I already dialed the number. It's ringing. Thanks, Marvin. Hey there! Oh, hey there, you fuck. Remember me? I'm the one you stole the mattress out from under. Oh, you don't like Max Keeble's big move? Come again? Oh, you don't like the Max Keeble? Oh, Marvin, you dialed the wrong number. This is the Max Keeble guy. Oh. What? Well, no, I actually love Max Keeble's big move, but I am wondering why you sold it for only $2. That's a really small price for such a big move. Ah, uh, you know, I just got tired of watching it over and over again. What? Tired of watching Max Keeble? But it's laugh out loud funny. Sir, I just simply don't understand you. Goodbye. All right, Marvin, give me the real number. I'm sorry. It's the other number. Hold on. Okay, that's the right number. Hello. Hey, asshole, how's my couch? Oh, the guy! The guy we wrote! He on the phone! Well, tell him he's not getting his furniture back. We found the perfect pantom to piece it all together. I didn't tell him we were going to give him his furniture back. Oh, well, you better not. Ugh, power bottoms, am I right? Listen, man, I just want my TVs back. <gasps> the three TVs that we put in the living room? We are watching Max Cable, Big Move on one, Plane Crash Documentary on another, and on the big one, we are watching Live Update on the Hurricane. Oh, you're living the dream. That's what I want to do. Wait, what's the Hurricane doing? Oh, uh, it's it coming straight for us. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, speaking of, you may want to get new Hurricane shutters. Look, can I just have my furniture back? No, Rooms to Go doesn't deliver till December. What are you supposed to sleep on? The floor? Well, now I have to sleep on the floor. Yeah, well, you better sleep on the floor because if you come Come back to try and get it from us, then we will slay you like pig dog. Or we will bend you over and make you power bottom. Okay, on second thought, you can have it. Thank you. Hey, what's going on? I'm not getting that furniture back. But that's fine. All I really wanted was the football. It's the only thing that's not replaceable. But I bought it for $100, so finders keepers. Yeah, well, buying stolen property is illegal, so I could arrest you. So if you don't mind, I'm going to be taking my football. And I'm going to be taking Max Keeble's big move. Actually, I'm gonna stay here and watch Max Keeble's big move because I don't have a TV or a couch at home, and my wife's gonna bitch that I didn't get our furniture back. And I'm gonna watch an airplane documentary on your phone. And what is that hurricane doing? Jeffy, get in here! Junior, get your butt in here! Yeah, Dad? What do you want, Daddy? Well, me, Braxton, and Rose are going to a bar to play bingo and sing karaoke. Yeah, Junior, your dad's gonna be the next Beyonce. Oh, the single ladies, oh, the single ladies. Yeah, you know that song, right? So, are you two gonna be okay to stay home alone for a few hours? Sure, Daddy. I'm just gonna work on patenting my new Ass Wiper 3000. I'll never have stinky fingers again. <laughs> 
Hold on, hold on. That boy is a genius. I might need that later. I get nervous at karaoke and I got IBS. Oh, uh, well, look, we're going to leave. So if you need anything, just call us and do not burn the house down. Yeah. All right, daddy. Wait, wait. You guys are not alone. Uh, Junior, uh, Chef PB staying here to watch over you guys because I don't trust you with the house. So, Chef PB, get up here and do your job. Well, well, well. Look who's king of the castle now. Lord Peep. <laughs> don't call yourself that, Chef PB. What the hell? Wait, wait. There's a Chef PB here? Where is he? Where is he? Because all I see is royal. So call me Lord Peep, Your Majesty, Your Highness, or Your Peepness. Something that pertains to royalty. And since I'm in charge now, you peasants gotta do what I say. And if you got a problem with it, your ass going to the dungeon, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have any objections? Ow, 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 ow. What the hell was that? Ass Wiper 3000. Well, no more Ass Wiper 3000 unless you're wiping my ass. Yes, Lord Penis. No, it's Lord Peepness. <laughs> God, look, I, I'm going to sleep in Braxton's bed. Do not bother me or you will feel the wrath of Lord Peep. There's someone at the door, Jeffy. Let's go answer it. Okay. Hello? What up, dudes? Who are you? The name's Crush, because I fucking crush it all the time, man. What are you doing here, Crush? Well, I was driving through Florida to get down to the Everglades to live in the woods like Winnie the Pooh Bear or some shit. And on the way down, I was smoking this wicked ganj in my car, dude, and got fucked up, dude. Like, I couldn't even drive. So I was starting to look for a hotel room, but then I was like, I don't have a phone because I don't believe in technology. I believe in squirrels, dude. Have you ever seen a fucking squirrel? They're fucking awesome. They got this like built-in geographical positioning system in their head, dude. They always know where all the good nuts are. And that's me, man. I'm just trying to be a squirrel and try to get my nut, dude. So you guys know where any hotels are? No, we don't know where any hotels are. Oh, well that's crazy because I was at fucking this gas station, dude, and I got this map of Cuba and I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't know where the fuck I am, dude, but if you turn it sideways, it kind of looks like Florida or a seahorse. And, and I'm like, if I find a hotel, it's got to be cheap, dude, because all I got is 160 bucks. <gasps> 160 bucks cash? Yeah. <gasps> Jeffy, we, we can let him stay here and we can get $160. We get paid for him to sleep. Uh, so, technically, this place is a hotel. No way, dude. This looks like a house. Well, we built it to look like that because we want people to feel like they're at home. Dude, I do feel that way. I feel like I'm at home. Yeah, so if you stay here, you have to give us 160 bucks. Okay, cool, man. Here's your 160 bucks. Oh, my God. Yeah, let me show you to your room. Cool. Okay, here's your room. You can either have the bottom bunk or the top bunk. Oh, dude, I'm bottom bunk all the way, man. Because if I was up there and there was a fire, like, how would I get down, dude? Down here is so chill, man. It's like my own little bird nest. Cuckoo, cachoo. Well, let us know if you need anything. Go to sleep. Wait, how do you have toes? Whoa, man, where did your little piggies go? Did they run off to like the market? My piggies are right here, dude, just chilling. A total vibe. All right, Jeffy, let's go. Oh my God, Jeffy, look, we just made $160 by letting someone sleep in our bed for the night. Junior, did you see his toes? Why don't I have toes like that? I think when he falls asleep, I'm gonna go in there and steal his toes. No, Jeffy, if we rent out the top bunk for another $160, then you can buy yourself new toes. You're right, Junior. So I'm gonna go make a sign and put it on the front door saying that we're a hotel and that we're open. Okay. <clears throat> there, hotel open, $160. Blair! Ah, the devil! Yes, it is me, the devil. What are you doing here? Well, I need the vacation from hell and I saw your sign that says hotel open $160 but I only have $200. Well that's enough. You can stay here. Oh you're not even going to give me my change. How evil. I love it here. Let me show you your room. So I got some good news for you sir. We upgraded you to the top bunk. Oh the top bunk. I'm in heaven. Wait I don't want to be in heaven. Oh wicked man. He's gonna clip my toenails for me. This place is the best. What are you doing Jeffy? I want his toes Junior. Oh, come on Jeffy. <laughs> cut it out Jeffy. I was trying to cut it out. All 10 of his toes. No Jeffy look we just made $360 in one night by letting two people sleep in our bunk beds. That is pretty the tits. Yeah so let me go remove the sign from the front door because I don't want anyone else thinking they can stay here. Oh no, there's someone at the door. Hello? Hi there, is this a hotel? Uh, no officer, this is not a hotel. Well that's a damn shame, because we were hoping for some bed and breakfast type shit. Yeah, I was trying to get lucky. Get lucky, he's already lucky. This motherfucker hit the goddamn jackpot. He gets to be all up in this bam's cooch. Well sorry, we don't have any rooms available for the night. 
Well, that's a damn shame. Because where else was I going to spend my $500? $500? Yeah, good dick ain't cheap. Well, I think for $500, I can get a room ready for you guys. So come wait in the lobby. Really? Yeah, come wait. Thank you, young man. All right, you two, just sit right here. Your room will be available shortly. Is there anything I can get you? Yeah, lube, five paper towels, and a Pringles can. Okay. And leave one of the Pringles in it. Jeffy, we have a problem. What, Junior? We too fucking paid. Wee! No, but seriously, there's these two people that want to rent a room for $500, but we don't have any rooms left. Well, what if we rented out your dad's room? What? We can't do that. Chef Pee Pee's sleeping in there. What if we move Chef Pee Pee somewhere else? <gasps> That's a good idea, Jeffy. Let's go move Chef Pee Pee. We have to be really quiet. Okay. Lord Peep. Okay, Jeffy, grab his head. Wait, stop teabagging him. Oh, you're Lord here. Peep. Okay, look, I'll grab his legs. You grab his head. Okay, Jeffy, now that Chef Pee Pee's sleeping in the bathtub, we can rent out my dad's room. Yeah, Junior. I like you. Do you like me? Oh, I hate sending risky texts. I'm not even gonna look at my phone. Okay, just real quick. She hasn't answered yet. Hey, man. Oh, dude, why are you red like a pepper? Because I am the devil. All oh, right, on, man. I love your lettuce. Speaking of devil's lettuce, do you have a light? Because I'm trying to hotbox this bunk bed, dude. Do I have a light? I am a light. I am the king of fire. All oh, right, on, man, because I'm trying to get Zooty McScooty, dude. Sorry for the wait, but your room is now ready. Wow, this is nice as shit. It feels like I'm in Dubai or something. And what is this? Is this one of those Tempopedic mattresses? Put a glass of wine on the bed and see if it falls over while we're banging. Is there anything else I can get you to? Yeah, give me some candles, a pack of cigarettes, a can of Febreze, and a yellow potty city balloon to douche. And also three more layers of sheets. All right, I'll be here in a minute. All right, and leave it by the door because we're going to go ahead and get started. Guys, do you need anything? Peekaboo Kukachu. Hey, man. We're high as shit, bro. And we're on the bottom bunk. <laughs> well, I'm just making sure you guys didn't need anything. No, man. We're fabuloso, my guy. We're like Jack and the Beanstalk, but we're the guy in the clouds. Yeah, we're like a cubulo nimbus. Dude, that was the name of Harry Potter's broom. Oh, well, I'll let you guys just keep hanging out. There's someone at the door. Hold on. All right, dude. We're going to be in outer space. <laughs> Hello? Hey, is my partner Simmons here? His squad car is parked outside and he's not answering his radio. Oh, well, a cop checked in a few minutes ago. Checked in? What do you mean? This isn't a hotel. Uh, it's like an Airbnb. Oh, okay. Well, what room's he in? Because I really need his help for an emergency. See, there's this fat person that's at a buffet and they refuse to leave. And at first, I thought it might be my ex-wife, but that's not possible because she's banned from all buffets worldwide and apparently the gym. But no. No, it's not her. It's this fat guy that's been there since lunchtime, and now he thinks he can live there since it's all you can eat. And I'm gonna need another officer to help me drag his fat ass out of there. Oh, well, he's up there in the room to the left. Okay, thank you. Ugh, I can't believe Simmons would get a hotel room while he's on duty. He's so lazy. Okay, Simmons, take the toothbrush out of my ass and give me a bloody dragon. I thought we were doing the Panamanian petting zoo. No, fuck that! Give me the Kentucky Klondike bar! What the? Is that the room service? Come on inside and look what I'm doing to Simmons' balls. Mom? Brookie, is that you? Can you get us some bottles of water? Oh, hi, mate. Can you take a picture? I didn't know your mom was this flexible. That's it, Mom. Get out. Go home. I can't believe you can't accept me and Simmons' love. That, that was not love, okay? And I will never accept my partner sleeping with my mom. Get your hand off him. Simmons, come on. We gotta go to a buffet. He's full. He had a whole buffet of roast beef from the bed. Oh, God. Come on, Simmons. Uh, wait. Is that a fire? Ah! Oh, my God. It's a fire! We gotta get out of the house on fire! Whoa, dude, look, it's Lord Farquaad. Far out, man. Wait, wait, what? Who the hell are you? The name's Crush, like the soda. <laughs> oh, y'all boys get lit in here, ain't you? Litty to titty, we're blazing, man. Yeah, you should join us, King Tut. Oh, you know, Lord, people prove pass it to me. I can't believe we didn't win a single game of bingo all night. Look, those old ladies were cheating. Marvin, look, there's a sign on our door. It says hotel open. $160? It must be some kids in the neighborhood pulling a prank. I'm gonna take the sign down. Marvin, do you see that smoke in the air? Oh my God, the house might be on fire. We have to get the kids. 
Oh no, the house ain't no fine. That's gas. <laughs> Straight gas. Marvin, I think they're in the bunk bed. Come on, kids, we gotta go. Whoa, I didn't know it was gonna be a powwow. Crush? All oh, zero gag reflex chick, what's up? <laughs> Stop. That's a hell of a nickname. What, you know him? Yeah, we met at a festival once. We shared a tent. Yeah, we did. Oh, that makes sense now. Well, get the hell out of my house. Well, I paid legal tender to be here, so get out of my hotel room. This is not a hotel room, this is my house, and I want you to leave. Oh, man, buzzkill. Yeah, everyone leave, everyone get out. Oh, look, that fire alarm's going off. Jesus. Okay, Jeffy, out of the $855 we made by renting out all the bedrooms, we both get $425 each, but I don't know how to split this last $5. Let me see it. Jeffy, why are there random people in the house? I don't know. Julia, where did you get all this money from? Oh, uh, people at school pay me to do their homework for them. <laughs> I know that's a damn lie, because you are dumb as hell. But I'm going to take all this money for rent by the time you start being treated as an adult. <laughs> wow, I only made $5.